Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and this is part 3 of our turtle graphics uh, exercise from the book Visual C Sharp 2012 How to Program. Uh, this is chapter 8, uh, exercise 21. So we, we created our classes uh, and we created our messages class. It's pretty much complete and we started to create our game board class but we figured out we need to first uh, create our turtle class in order to make the uh, board actually actionable otherwise we, we have nothing to draw on it so let's create a turtle and I can make the class public and um, let's create a um, mm, let me do public turtle Because I'm going to have a, um, uh, but before I go to our constructor, let me create some actually uh, some properties. So the first one will be character. I'll call it turtle symbol. Get and set. Now there will be a default, but uh, you know if the user wants to change it, it's gonna be easy this way. You don't have to go around and keep changing it everywhere it will be all in one place so uh, another one will be an integer position x so this is gonna be our uh, x coordinates for our turtle public integer position y get and set and we will do a public integer move which is basically gonna be the number of spaces we are moving so um, let's do some default values for these um, I'm gonna do the turtle symbol by default will equal X that's our little turtle right there position X we'll start from the corner 0 and zero so position y will be zero as well and uh, our move at the beginning of course will be zero we don't move yet and um, okay so we have that now we create our move uh, method so we will do public void walk and um, This one will have, we will do walk is calculated based on selected direction number of spaces. So basically, um, oh, it will tell us whether we're moving up or down, left or right, and how many spaces, but also actually and pen action because pen action uh, will be up remember when the pen is up there is no draw uh, down equals to draw so basically it will tell us whether we just move in on our grid or whether we are actually drawing a line as we move so that's gonna be our walk and um, since uh, we will be moving, uh, we have to validate, obviously, whether our move is valid, I mean, uh, whether it's too many spaces, whether we entered correct value and all that. So I will create, and this one can be private because this one will be called directly from this class, private, and it's boolean validate, validate move, and it will return true or false depending on whether the move is correct. So. Uh, Basically, this will, uh, how would I put it, uh, determine if our move would result in out of the board position. And, um, alright, so this is going to be our moves, but clearly, before we do that, uh, we need to actually know 
the directions are we move which direction are we moving so let's do the e directions first so I'm gonna actually create a class uh, add new class and I'll call this one uh, all directions all right so um, so it's gonna be a public class public class and um, it's gonna be static because it will only set the directions that's gonna be the only thing that it does uh, so uh, let's make our um, private static directions uh, actually no let's make it public enum directions because it's gonna be north which equals three remember our instructions say one and two is for the pen action uh, three four five and six is for the uh, directions so three east equals four uh, south equals five and west equals six so this is our this is our enum and um, we will create a private uh, a variable it's gonna be a static of the directions in other words this will hold the actual direction that we will that we will choose from our enum and I'll call it direction all right so um, let's get the direction public static directions directions is gonna be returned from this uh, so I'll just call it direction with capital D this is a property which gets set that returns our direction it will simply say directions dot north or dot east or whatever and we, uh, so it will be stored in our private variable over here as you will soon see so we will do get return direction this is what's gonna be returned from our property and to set it we need to uh, we need to uh, get the input from the user three four five or six and uh, translate it into our enum value all right so we will do our switch and it will it will be the value uh, from and um, the value that is being passed uh, to our to our property so case 3 will return the direction equals directions uh, 3 is north right so we will break case 4 our direction will now equal to the directions uh, 4 is east let's break and case 5 our direction equals directions 5 is south and finally our case 6 that's our direction to the west so direction west and let's break and by default if it's something else if it's none of these values I don't think it will come to it because we will verify the, the input before that but it's good to have a default value just in case something breaks uh, so we will if something does break we will call the remember our messages we have an invalid direction message so we will simply call that one and since it's a static class we will do messages dot invalid direction break all right so this is our this is how we get the direction we will pass the value and transfer it or transform it into our north east and south or west uh, enum and it's giving me an error what does it say cannot convert expression type of integer to the all directions that directions okay so 
since we are returning directions, uh, the value is expected as directions, but we are not getting uh, input as north, east, south. We're getting the input as 3, 4, 5, and 6. So all we have to do in our switch statement, convert that to our integer. And it will simply make it 3, 4, 5, and 6 uh, corresponding with the enum. So now that, that will work. And uh, it still has some problems here. Inconsistent accessibility. Uh, because for some reason I did the enum as private, which is of course supposed to be public. Alright, so... Uh, and this is really all there is to it uh, as far as the direction setting. There's a, we will simply call this and return our correct direction. So we... we always specify direction of our move so uh, we don't have to remember the state of directions and what i mean by that with every move we will get a new direction so we, we don't have to remember okay what was our previous direction or what is a we only need to know what is our current direction so we don't have to instantiate the object. That's why I'm making it uh, making it static. So uh, so we make the class static. Again, uh, if we need to kind of remember the state of the object, uh, then it wouldn't be static. But since we actually are calling this method every single time we move. We don't care what the previous uh, direction was, we only care about what the current one is, so we can make it static. And, uh, okay, so this is all, all here. Let me just uh, remove uh, all the unused. There you go. We don't, we don't need any of those uh, imports for this particular class. So, um, Alright, so these are directions. Uh, let's go back to our turtle and um, do the uh, do our walk. But uh, let's do it in the next video. This was uh, long enough, I guess, for the people with a shorter attention span, I guess. So uh, yeah, let's do it uh, in the next video. I'll see you then. Take care.